For more on the impact of the Hamas leader's killing and the U.S. reaction, let's bring in our chief global affairs correspondent, Martha Raditz. Martha, good morning. Good morning, Witt. This is obviously a major win for the Israelis and a huge blow to Hamas. And it is possible it could hasten the end of the war and hopefully mean the release of the hostages. But none of that is certain. When the news was first announced, there was fear that the hostages would be executed in retaliation. And of course, that fear still remains. You hear, heard Aviva. But then Hamas would have nothing to bargain with. But President Biden is sending Secretary of State Antony Blinken to Israel in the next few days to try and reinvigorate ceasefire talks. Hamas is clearly reeling from the loss of Sinwar. And of course, the relentless attacks by the Israelis in Gaza that have left tens of thousands of dead and millions facing starvation. But this does not mean the end of Hamas terror. We heard President Biden compare the death of Sinwar to the killing of Osama bin Laden. But the president also knows what happened after that. Al Qaeda was crippled, but then the terror group ISIS gained strength. That that is something the Israelis want badly to avoid. Rebecca? Absolutely. All right, Martha, thank you.